Hello everyone, I'm Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what causes the narcissist to lose interest. If that sounds good to you, please hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a call with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. This is what causes the narcissist to lose interest. This is what causes them to no longer be interested in you. And when that happens, they become very impatient to where they may be quickly irritated or provoked. And it's because of irritation, delay or opposition. It's because they couldn't plague you. They couldn't pretend to be your relationship partner or friend while all along emotionally manipulating you with false promises which is very agitating for them because that was their agenda from the very beginning and it's because it's what was done to them earlier on in their childhood. They were emotionally manipulated by their parent or caregiver while they were strung along with false promises and it was a very frustrating experience for them which is why they wanted to see you going through that because then they're pulling you into their realm and what they had to deal with. They're experiencing their unresolved childhood traumas very closely through you, only this time they're on the other end of it. They're in an authoritative position over you, almost like they're your parents, while they're infantilizing you because they think you're foolish or inexperienced and they may be correct. Because maybe you never had to manipulate anyone before in order to get your needs met. So you may be unable to detect when they're manipulating you, but once you do become aware of it, they will begin to lose interest in you. Which is why the more that you begin to develop your knowledge and awareness of these, these manipulative tactics, the less friends and relationship opportunities you will have. And the ones you do have will be unsustainable. But that doesn't mean that you've lost something or that you're missing out on anything. Because even if you were inexperienced, it would have been fake. So it would have ended at some point anyway. And if it does end or if it doesn't even begin, it's because their agenda was to plague you. And they knew what they were going to do with you right from the beginning. But they didn't tell you because they had an agenda. They're detached from reality. And they're trying to pull you into their fantasy world. Because they can't deal with reality. So when they lose interest, it's only because they were trying to plague you but they couldn't. Which is why when that happens, they will forget about you to move on to someone else. Someone who is nowhere near as good as you. But they will move on to them solely because they're able to play that person while they weren't able to manipulate you. And after they've played that person, they will play someone else. And it just goes on and on. Because that's what they consider to be important. And it's what they want to achieve. Because they want to artificially inflate their own value. They want to make themselves appear more valuable and important than they actually are. Because in reality they're worthless and insignificant. They might look good on the outside, but they have no inner sense of value. Which is why all you really have to do is have a conversation with them and let them do all of the talking to reveal that they actually have no value at all. Which is why they like to go from one person to the next to artificially inflate their own value by leeching off whatever those other people have. But it's a delusional mindset because it's not real. It didn't occur naturally. It's not something they had to work for. It's not something that they earned from acting openly and honestly because they had to manipulate people in order to get it. Which means that their value isn't going up. They only think that it is. They just go around breaking people down and in their minds they think that it's funny because it inflates their ego but it's artificial, so it's not real. And yet they're playing people who have a lot of value because they get a kick out of it. But they're lying to themselves. All it does is boost their ego. And then the people they play are going to find something better because there is nothing worse than a leech, a parasite. While these narcissists are just going to be playing the victim to gain sympathy and attention because you're not chasing after them and you no longer talk to them. They have their shiny moment, their moment in the sun, and then all of a sudden you're moving on with your life, and you don't care about them, so all they're really doing is losing. They're doing a commitment and then failing, 
by not completing it. Because whether they realise it or not, they're actually taking a loss. Because they could have gained a lot more from you, but they chose to lose again and again, until they get older and older and they haven't learned anything. Because from the very beginning, they're only thinking about how they're going to play you, and then they lose interest when they know that they can't. But they try to play you because they know that you're valuable and it intimidates them. So they hide who they are. But it only hurts them and it makes you better because you're going to keep getting stronger. And you're going to continue to have more positive experiences following any difficulties or misfortune that you encounter. While they're going to continue manipulating people and playing games with them, which is only going to hurt them in the process because they're not going to learn anything from it. They're just going to perfect their craft of manipulation when all that does is artificially inflate their value until they're old and miserable and they've got nothing to show for their lives other than qualities or possessions that they may have stolen from, from other people when maybe they could have had a very different future with you. If they had just made the best use of their assets and the opportunity but at some point someone will solve this problem and unravel the mystery by realising and understanding your value until it motivates them to improve their performance so that they can perform as well as you because that's what we envision and commit to achieve we don't want toxic people in our lives we want people who are actually about something people who are intelligent no one wants a lazy partner other than people who are also lazy themselves but people who are disciplined and hardworking do not want someone who is lazy. They want someone who is willing to use their energy. Someone who has energy to give. But the narcissist will lose interest because they can't fool you. They can't have their way with you because you're experienced. They're only worried about people they can play. And that is why they play these games and they can play these games for years. When you're in a relationship with them and you believe they're actually interested in building something with you or you could just be talking or texting and then it's already done because you can't be played. Which is why they typically want to drag it out for as long as they can because they don't want to show you who they actually are. They want you to blindly believe in them instead of questioning or challenging them. Which is why narcissists will often lose interest in people of value because as far as they're concerned they have no value if they can't play them which is how a narcissist value is extremely low and they typically only get you when you're lonely or if you're already going through something because that's when you're vulnerable and they will wait until the time is right because they can't get you when you're strong which is why any relationship they get into isn't going to last while for you you're just going to become more and more experienced and more and more discerning to the point where it's really going to take someone of value to lock you down and many narcissists may be holding out for a high value person as well but the difference is they're not going to find it or even if they do find a high value person they're not going to be able to lock them down because their entire lives, they relied on their manipulation. They took advantage of people where they were vulnerable, while you actually did the work. You took accountability and bounced back from those adversities, which makes you an excellent match for a person of high value. Because that is exactly the type of person that anyone of high value needs in their lives. Someone who never gives up. Someone who withstands and recovers quickly from difficult conditions. Someone who is able to be happy and successful again after something bad has happened. Which may have seemed like a curse when you were around the narcissist, but it's going to become a blessing when you meet the right person. Because they will be able to value and cherish these wonderful qualities, as they must have nurtured these qualities in themselves to get to where they are today. Thank you for watching, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comment section, hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications, if you would like to support the channel, 
you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor you could book a one on one with me on our website it's narcsurvivor.co.uk thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon